Hello everyone, welcome back to Strategic Command. I'm Paradox Gamer, thank you for joining me. Uh, so last time we discovered a, a German cruiser up here somewhere. So let's uh, let's start by sending someone that way. Well, how far can this light cruiser go? Go over there. Alright, so they're not up here. Um, what if we sent the destroyer up this way? Uh, there's nothing there either. Uh, <laughs> uh, hmm. How far can these guys go? Then go to around here. Go to here. Let's send a carrier down this way. And then scout around. Oh! We got something there. Can I reach that with any ships? No. Unfortunately not. Is that good or bad timing? Well, I could bump into it with the destroyer. But I think we'll just attack it with the aircraft. Five damage! Wow! And another uh, cruiser comes into sight. Right, let's bring up the other. I think we found the navy. Let's bring up the other carrier. Four damage. Let's take it out. Heavy cruiser, uh, battle cruiser actually destroyed. Now we have more carriers. Let's attack. Oh. It's too far away, damn it. What about the other one? Where is it? Take it to here. Uh, it's out of range, unfortunately. Alright, so let's uh, let's shield them with some battleships, maybe. Bring the battleships up front. And then battle cruisers on the sides. And then a heavy cruiser. And a light cruiser. And another light cruiser. And then we have the destroyers. Uh, they should get out of the way, actually. Let's just put one in the back here. And this one in the back here. And then we have, we have the... Artillery should move down this way. And then we have the battleship here. It's dangerous to be on my own. I think I'm gonna send it in behind Ireland. This destroyer here will reinforce it. This destroyer will reinforce. The sub is ready. Let's send it, uh, send it out this way. And then these destroyers, I'll just send them back to safe waters around there. And uh, we have... that's it, I think. Alright, so in the med, we're sending this submarine out as well. And we want to see if we can destroy that submarine. Yeah, three damage, and then the other des destroyer will take it out. No, it died from attack. But it's, it can't go anywhere, so we could try... ...with the cruiser. It's, I know it's low odds, but let's do it anyway. There we go. Alright. 
So let's just replenish up this navy. No, it can only go to eight, so it doesn't really matter with that. Let's start sending the navy out then. Towards the German fleet. One carrier, two battleships, and then I think we'll leave the rest in here to hunt for transports or maybe send the destroyers out to hunt for submarines no I think I'll leave them in here because that a German submarine could get in here so let's get them back up send one there one goes there go there and just stay around here. All right, that's all for the navy. Pretty good, pretty good harvest, so to speak. Here, I think we'll um, try and attack this artillery piece. Let's take these guys in the back first because uh, they've got the best morale. Actually, this one has the best morale. up here. Enemy contact. I still got the attack though. If I can get another shot, I can with these guys. Sure we're able to take out their artillery. Move these guys up front and reinforce this guy to max and bring the headquarter forward. That was the artillery. Next up we have the anti-tank, the infantry corps and the recon and their headquarter also somewhere. And maybe even Italians in Tripoli. And right so Greece These guys will land in Thessaloniki, that's the Canadian Corps. Uh, nobody needs to reinforce. <laughs> These are the British. Yeah, we might as well attach this one as well. And we should really get a British headquarter down here. I'm thinking about bringing the one in England, because it's not really doing anything here. So that would be transported as well. You know what, let's do that. So artillery and headquarter heading to Greece, the rest will just stay here. We also have the naval bombers, just in case the Germans get close to land, we'll send the naval, naval bombers over here. Right, let's go back to Greece. Uh, we have bomber activity, uh, why don't we... Bomb these guys. And then hit them with the Greek army. Boom. Nice. Let's not bother with these guys. So I think I'll send this army back up this way. Maybe even up here. I can break the line. Are they entrenched? Uh, no, they're not entrenched. So we don't have to attack. 
that's it. Agrees. Gotta remember that Rhodes is also Italian. And I want to get that at some point. But we'll finish the African campaign first. And then we'll uh, island hop to Rhodes, Sardinia and Sicily. Now Eastern Front. Move this guy up here. And get the headquarter up. And I guess that's it for here. I wonder if is Latvia in the Allies? They are, but since the Soviets are not yet, we can't move in. We have an armored train that we can move forward. Um, I don't think the Germans will ever get to Moscow, but uh, I'll just continue making some fortifications. Okay, so points wise, we have 253 for the Soviets. I'm actually thinking starting up infantry weapons level 2. We're gonna need it at some point. So why not uh, get that going? That's most of our points. The Americans, they can't really start up anything except for advanced subs, and I'm not gonna do that. So they're just gonna save up their points. And the Brits. Uh, we got 325. I could either start up advanced aircraft because I'm gonna need that, or I could build some units. I think I'm gonna start up advanced aircraft. And I think that's it. Let me just uh, see here. Yeah. Now this is gonna be interesting in the Atlantic. They'll probably just move out. Find somewhere else to be. USSR prepares for war. So after this Axis turn, I think I will uh, the USSR will join. UK develops anti-submarine warfare level one. That's uh, helpful. And also infantry warfare level one. That's very helpful. And logistics level three and production technology level 2 and uses our develops command and control level 1 just in time <clears throat> and collects 300 points now almost 400 for the UK getting 44 from the US who hasn't entered into war mode yet now the axis turn Africa core does not do anything. So the users I haven't joined the Allies yet, but I think they will at the end of the turn. We have Italian aircraft. Here comes some German armor. So that German armor is not on the Eastern Front. That That's very good. We can fight it down here. The German infantry keeps attacking. They're simply not strong enough to break through those fortifications. These fortifications were planned before the war. In a very good place. Italian armor. The Italian armor is not upgraded, so it's not really that dangerous. Let's see how many Germans move into Latvia. They're getting ready to go east. They know they can move in next turn. And I'll get a lot of army cores very soon. I'll pop them at all in in the center. Africa Core is moving back. I 
Alright, they're still pushing in Greece. And they've got a lot of units. The USSR mobilizes its armed forces for a great patriotic war. The Soviet Baltic fleet mobilized. So now I'm getting the, that army. The USSR joins the Allies. Getting extra units. Headquarter in Leningrad. Stalin orders industry to increase its military production. I'll probably be able to move my uh, industry back. Spanish phalangists attack the British Embassy in Madrid. This is really good. I think that's a good time to get the Soviets in. July 41 is actually just about the same time as in real life. Submarine in Norwegian Sea. So here we go. The enemy's advance is threatening our industrial resources in the Ukraine, and without these resources, the war could soon be lost. It is therefore vital that we transfer technicians and machinery to the Urals, where the new factories can be built to continue the war effort. Doing so will temporarily disrupt production in the Ukraine, but in the long run the benefit will, war will far outweigh the cost. Would you like to authorize the transfer of industrial resources to safety in the Urals? Let's check the notes. Uh, do, 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 do. It cannot be stressed enough just how important it is to say yes to this. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. Even though I think I'm in a good position with the Soviets, the Axis will for sure push me back. And so I don't want to lose all this industry. So yeah, even though I feel good about my defenses, I have to do this. There we go. And so of course... I'll have a momentarily uh, uh, less industrial output. Anyway, the headquarters says, with the enemy advancing into the motherland, it might be wise to take steps to install harsh discipline in the army to increase our soldiers' fighting spirit and prevent desertions. At the same time, we should increase the size of the NKVD to ensure that justice is mated out on any who disobey orders and desert. Uh, imposing discipline in the Red Army will cost us 25 points and will provide our forces with, an, with a one-time morale boost of 25%. Would you like to say yes to imposing harsh discipline to increase the Red Army's efficiency and struggle to halt the enemy's advance? Yeah, I could really use that 25%. So I'm gonna go yes with this. That's just 25 points. Political, co political Commissars, read Order 270 to all Red Army units. The good thing is, it's my turn. So I have the ability to move some of those frontline units back to safety. Let me just inspect a little bit here. So I haven't gotten anything up here it seems. Yeah, I got this light armor in Ostrov. Then I got my ships and I got a core and a headquarter in Leningrad. I have a core in Moscow. Let me just zoom out. Then I have a core, uh, core in Stalingrad, one in Rostov. And the majority of the units came in in the south where I got three mechanized I have another headquarter I got uh, fighters and bombers uh, some light armor and some extra army calls as well so I think my southern un uh, front is looking pretty good I'll move these units back behind and strengthen the defenses it's much more difficult up here. The guys in Minsk are heavily outnumbered. And the, the Germans can get straight in here. But 
I will get let's see July 3 I'll get 2 so that's next turn almost got them this turn and then the turn after that I'll get another 2 and then I think 2 turns after that I'll get another 3 so a total of 7 and of course I will put all of those up around here uh, where I could also use another headquarter so that's uh, I will transfer the headquarter from Leningrad south maybe some of the armies as well yeah I will transfer that headquarter down to Polotsk area so we'll have four headquarters two in the south and two in the north what about the German Navy what happened to that it's out of sight again probably went south so I will expect it to be somewhere out here I'll send another scout out just to see if I can see it and then that was those the sub up here yeah I think it's looking uh, pretty good and I think it's time to put in a break I'll be back with total war on all fronts next time thank you guys for watching I'll see you around bye bye